Talk to us about the cover. The autobiography is told by Vic Mensa. This cover, you're sitting there, and it looks like you almost have writer's block. I'm sure there's some messages on the fridge, mm -hmm. right? 47th Ave. It all has a meaning. Yes. Right? It all, it, all, it all tells a story in itself. Yeah. Well, the album cover was inspired by uh, Malcolm X's autobiography. Mm -hmm. That was as told to Alex sure. Haley. So this is as told by Vic Mensa. And um, there's a song on the album called Home Wrecker that is about a woman destroying my home, um, trying to, like, kill the girl in there, and the police come, and everything's fucked up. And... Um, so that scene is kind of like me writing in the middle of that turmoil, you know? In the middle so, of chaos. Yeah, in the middle of chaos. Yeah. And just kind of like writing my way out of it. So that's why there's the crumpled paper all over. Um, and, you know, it's got 47th Street. It's got my man, my man who passed away. You can't really see it on that on that printout. But, no, that that's Lil Vic in that little photo. My but, man. Uh, but on no. the 47th Street sign, there's a tag on there. Oh, uh, got it. Okay. It says Dare, and that's for my big homie, um, you know, who who was killed in Chicago. And I wrote a song for him called Heaven on Earth. Um, in the mirror, I have, in the reflection, if you look very closely, mm -hmm. there's devil horns on me. And it's just like, uh, you know, kind of like representative of some of the self-depreciating sentiments in the album that i was dealing with and sure. going through demons maybe yeah demons okay. word up that's what it is that's right. the demons in the in the mirror uh thank you for giving me that so now, now i can hold that down there's the af there's mm -hmm. the africa africa uh you know african barber shop uh-huh wooden poster mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um because <laughs> my pops is from africa and i i, I think i might have mentioned it in the mm -hmm. song mm -hmm. um or in the album and what's in there on the fridge uh man, it's like some secret coded messages and shit like that. I but, see uh, that. I saw we the save money. Saw out. the save money. Yeah, there's some save money stuff. Mm -hmm. There's like 9347, um, RIP Dare. That's what it was. R yeah, RIP, yeah. yeah. We try to zoom in. Hyde Park. That. Yeah, that's, that's the neighborhood right. I'm from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, you chose to go uh, uh, with no socks. Yeah. Just the feet out. Yeah. Very vulnerable thing, right? Guy feet. That's just a very vulnerable thing, man. I don't. I don't know. I can't show my feet. feet guy. Nah, nah, nah. I like women's feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you chose to go. Yeah, that's a very brave move to me. You know. What you I mean? know, it was actually um, this woman. I believe her name is Madeline, mm -hmm. who uh, owns a vintage store called Chuck's Vintage okay. on Melrose, and. I was in there buying, just buying some clothes, and I was actually trying to find stuff for the album cover shoot. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying on some jeans or like a t-shirt or whatever, and she and I'm telling her the concept, and she was like, "You should do it barefoot. Mm -hmm. That'd be like dope." Right, 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 <laughs> so, right, right. No, it's art, you know. What yeah. I mean? So I was like, "That's a great idea," you know, because I guess it does. Uh, just represent like vulnerability. I wanted it mm -hmm. to feel like that's what I was gonna say. To me, yeah. it looks like a natural look, and it looks like you weren't uh, posing for a cover. That right. that's just you. I want it to feel like a window into my real life. You know, not not just my rap life. I, I have a lyric in the, in the album on a song called Wings. Okay. With Pharrell, Pharrell, where I say introduction to Victor, not Vic Mensa, the one you never meet in a double XL issue. And so I just kind of want the album to feel or i wanted the album to feel like a real introduction to me as sure. a person you but know is that, a, is that a message to the fans like yo the old vic isn't necessarily here anymore that's more so a message that um that like this is the real me you know and i've and i've been through a lot of i've been through a lot of phases and mm -hmm. and a lot of i've been a lot of places you've with seen a lot, a lot of people yeah. seen a lot yeah. um and and grown but this album was me really like returning to square one personally, you know, because I had different paths that I that I went down in my journey that some of them were inspired by other things and there was a lot of drugs going on and at, at certain points in time, uh, a feeling of loss of self. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't really sure who I was looking at in the mirror and that was reflected in the music. And so I said things that I, that I didn't feel 
proud of, that I didn't feel confident in, sure. that, that I didn't believe, you know? I said things that could be interpreted as misogynistic or just, sure. you know, kind of pointless, like most of rap is right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, it could mm -hmm. be easy to fall into those cliches. Um, you talking about the slow uh, class? Slow class? No, no, no. no. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, the slow class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was in the slow class. I was <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that, well, you know, a lot of people say we have a slow class in hip hop now, you know? Yeah, and, and um, you know, when, when you're doing this for a living, it's like, it, it can be easy to um, to see how much stupid shit sells, you know? Right, right. And um, just kind of get disillusioned by that. But this album was me, like, cutting all of that out of my life and cutting all the drugs out of my life and yeah, man. really centering myself. You know, it was like make make a break for, this, for me to make this album. It was sure, like, sure. if I don't fucking come back to myself and put this into this music, I don't know what's gonna happen.